Welcome back to the bluegrass on this beautiful June day. The sun's out, the sky's blue as it can be. We got a nice breeze. Uh, this morning's been an awesome morning. The dogs have been doing fantastic. All the people that came and went, uh, they all had a nice time and everybody was real comfortable. The dogs performing at a high level, had that speed and precision going. So uh, it's kind of day that puts you in a good mood and makes you want to do some projects. Well, we have a project today that we thought you might be, uh, you know, you might be interested in following along with. Okay, so now you know by now that me and Eli and my sons, we're pretty much immune to the weather and we don't need much in the way of creature comforts. But we've got a lot of nice people come out here, a lot of suburbanites, and they're accustomed to the finer things in life. <laughs> so we try to keep them, uh, we try to pamper them just a little bit, okay? So we try to keep them some ice water out here in the summertime. And this cooler right here, Listen, guys, we've had this cooler for 20 years. You know, it's, our, it, it's, it's been with us through 100 picnics, through 100 boat trips, through 100 uh, trips down to the gorge, down to the river, down to the lake, and it's held up perfectly. You've probably seen these on the ball field before. You know, everybody's familiar with them. Well, I had a guy out here. Now, I work for fancy people, right? So they always like having the fanciest stuff. And he was kind of... Uh, you know, a little bit. What not you say, Eli, I'm making fun of my cooler? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, because there's kind of some cooler snobbery that's going on in the world nowadays. And uh, he was telling me how, like, uh, this, this is an old-fashioned cooler, and I could get a way better cooler. And I was like, well, sure, yeah, I'd like to have a way better cooler. But then when he told me they cost two or three hundred dollars, well, he might as well have told me we were going to the moon tomorrow, because that's not happening. Eli, what's the likelihood of me spending two hundred dollars on the cooler? Never. <laughs> Never. Zero. It's just, it's literally not going to happen. If I won the lottery tomorrow, I'm still not spending $200 on a cooler. And so, like, when he told me that, I was in shock, you know, and uh, uh, I, I thought to myself, well, I obviously ain't charging this guy enough. <laughs> but, uh, so, it, it did intrigue me, right? And so, I, I started thinking, you know, here's this nice guy, got a fancy office job, and he goes out for three or four hours and thinks he needs a $200 cooler. Uh, so, I wanted to know about these coolers, so I got to looking around, uh, you know, on the YouTube about it and uh, uh, it, it seems like they work I guess but I saw all kinds of, of uh, cooler comparisons and one uh, one thing that some people were doing that really intrigued me was they were taking just regular old coolers and they were kind of making cool cups for them or what some I guess you guys call koozies for them they, they were they put an insulating layer on the cooler well it just so happens <laughs> due to my tendency to be a hoarder, that uh, the last time I got an air conditioner put in out here, which was done by Ron's uh, Heating and Cooling uh, here in Winchester, Kentucky, if you need an air conditioner, give him a call, right? Uh, <laughs> as Ron was leaving, okay, he was taking and putting this in the uh, dumpster. And I was like, whoa, 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 did I pay for that? And he's like, well, yeah. I said, well, <laughs> <laughs> move away from that dumpster son because <laughs> we're going to keep it and he's like what are you going to do with it i said i don't know but if i paid for it uh i'm going to have eli store it and we might do something with it later uh and then uh <laughs> he said well i got this half a roll of tape i said give that to eli too <laughs> now listen guys i have uh i grew up i didn't have a lot and uh, uh, you know, I've read one too many dystopian novels to think that throwing anything away is ever a good idea. So if we have it, uh, if we have access to it, and it looks like it might be able to be primarily recycled, <laughs> we're gonna store it somewhere. Okay, so what we thought we would do is we would make a cooler for our cooler. And you guys can watch and see, and we're gonna figure out if it makes any difference, right? So now, uh, I told Mrs. Stoney, I said, hey, I need another one of these coolers because we're going to do some science here, okay? And in science, you always, you know, you can't just uh, do one thing. You got to do two things. You got to have a control. So at first, I started to put ice in this cooler because I thought to myself, well, I know about how long it takes ice to melt. But then I was thinking, well, I you know, I don't know if that sounds real, <sighs> real scientific. All right, so uh, I told Mrs. Stoney, I said, I need another one of these coolers. And she looked it up on the line. Uh, and uh, said it was $36. I said, like, whoa, whoa, back up, $36, do we have any other options? She said, yeah, there's one that looks just like it uh, for $21. I said, well, I like science, but I don't know that I like science uh, $36 worth, so uh, let's go ahead and stick with the $21. Now, I can't, I don't know much about this brand here it says igloo on it and this is rubber made like i said i can vouch for this this is a tough cooler it's got a screw on lid it's got these ridges it gives it a lot of uh, structural integrity this is just kind of a pop-up lid so obviously if this falls out of the truck what's going to happen to our ice eli spill 
spills everywhere. And, and then whose fault's that going to be? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little insight into working for me. Like if you work for me, uh, if something goes wrong, it's your fault. Um, okay, so we got us a couple of $21 coolers. This is how we're going to do science. So we have two coolers. We'll make a cooler for this one, and uh, we're not going to make a cover for this one. And uh, we're going to see how fast the ice melts, see if there's any difference. So first thing we got to do to uh, make our cooler, cover, koozie, whatever we're going to call it, is do some measuring. Okay, so what do I need? I need, uh, I've got a level here for a straight edge and a ruler. Got a Sharpie, got a pair of scissors, got this uh, Reflectix tape I rescued from the dumpster. Okay. All right. Now, how I do projects, guys, I just write it right here on my table. Don't look too close, Eli. You might see some drawings on here you ain't supposed to see. So this thing, it's about maybe 20 and a half inches. We'll just go, we'll say 20. Okay, and then it looks, let me see. Right at about 14 wide. So let me see, Eli, do you remember how to figure that? If it's 14 this way, then it's what, times three plus 10%, give or take? Give or take. And then add a little bit. So uh, 14 times three, that's 42 plus 10%, that's 46 plus two plus, so if we add a little bit, that'd go to 48. What do you think about 48? Sounds about right. So 20 by 48, all right, okay. That piece, tall enough, nope, that piece is not quite long enough, put this over here out of the way, uh oh Eli, we might have made this whole video and not had a big enough piece. Tidy up this work area here. Oh, that's how I tidy stuff up. I just kind of move it over there out of the way. Okay, I hope this one is long enough. Definitely wide enough. So let's see. All right, so if we went, this is 24 inches, so it's two of these. We need two of these. One. Two. Eli, did I tell them about the milk jug trick? I don't think so. Okay, so listen, guys. You know, we're talking about getting this uh, cooler out, and, and this, is, this is awesome, carrying your cooler around. But if you want a simple trick, back when I was a kid, uh, what everybody do when they went to the tobacco patch is that they just take a milk jug and fill it up with water and freeze it the night before. And that way, like, you just drag that out with you, and over the course of the morning as the uh, ice melts, like, it just gives you the coldest water you've ever drank, right? So if you don't want to go to the trouble of, of getting you a big cooler when you go out, just freeze you a milk jug of water, and uh, it makes a... It makes for some good cold drinking water, doesn't it, Eli? Oh, yeah. Okay, so what did I say it was on the tall side, Eli? 20? 40. We'll go a little over 20. How about that? You know, Eli, I might have missed my calling. I might should have been a surgeon. You see the precision with which I am utilizing these cutting utensils? Okay. All right. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Now, you got to try straight, try to stay straight here. Now, when you're cutting this Reflectix, you would think that you had to mark it, but you don't because, show them these bubbles. I don't know if you can see these bubbles, but in between these bubbles, every other bubble, there's a little line. And so all you have to do is cut from line to line. 
right across the bubble. All right, so let's see which one of these is our. Oh, so let's get this up here. Now, Eli, I forget which half goes on there. Is it this one? Nope. All right, now for the moment of truth, for my <laughs> side friend, we're going to see. Dun, 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 dun. Dang, looky there. Ah. Oh, man. Kind of overshot it just a little bit on the top. Show them there. But it's a bet, bet, little better to have, better to have little too much than a little too little. So that give us some room to play with up there. So we put a couple of pieces of tape right here just to kind of as placeholders. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Now this tape can be a little tricky, guys. Ah, so it's just like the dog training. You're gonna have to be patient. You go to fooling with this foil tape. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. All right. Now let's take this piece. What we'll do. As we just lay this down here. Hope I got it. Let's sit here. Lay it on that corner so we don't have to use any more that we need. Dun, 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 dun. Just gonna lay my. Dun, 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 dun. Just lay my sharpie right there. Looks about right. Cut on the outside of that a little bit. So that should be somewhere near, right? And what we'll do, we'll make us a cut every so often here. And then we're going to go in a star pattern, just like if we were tightening the lug nuts. Uh, the wheel, I should say. Go over 
here. Bosco, what are you doing? You coming over here to investigate my handyman stuff? Bosco's from Florida. He ain't used to seeing men <laughs> do handiwork. He's used to being taken to the mall. Bosco goes to exercise in an air-conditioned mall. What do you think about that, Eli? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what would they do over at the mall if we showed up with a pack of dogs? <laughs> like, hey, we're here. <laughs> uh, all them little ladies that are in there walking every morning and be like, hey, what are you doing? Start <laughs> using a dummy launcher. We'll go do <laughs> use a dummy launcher in the mall. Dun, 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 dun. Bosco's like, dude, I need some cool water. Bosco, do you have to have ice water, huh? Because your mama loves you so much. And <laughs> probably, probably not, probably Avion or something. Bosco's like, I don't think I'm gonna be drinking any tap water. I'm a little too fancy for tap water. That good old Fiji water. Fiji, that's what it is. Fiji, smart water, probably. Smart water, oh yeah. Who doesn't want a smart mountain water? You gotta give them some smart water. Smart $4 water. Eli, this is starting to shape up pretty good. A little R2-D2-ish looking. But all in all. I think it's gonna be pretty handy. Christmas, not, uh, Christmas ornament. Hey, <laughs> now look, what if we went to all this trouble <laughs> and it doesn't do one thing? <laughs> we, we literally spent all morning and uh, it doesn't do one thing. You know, there's probably, there's probably a million cooler people that work at cooler factories, cooler engineers, whatever that would be. And, and they're like, dude, what are you talking about? Uh, just let the cooler be the cooler. All right. Dang, this is pretty nice. Uh, now we're really going to try to reinforce this top because you know every time we turn around oh, we're dropping these coolers <whistles> we put a little extra tape on here guys when people are working at your house and uh you know they leave some construction material around you know go ahead and get that construction material you know you never know when you might need to do a project Eli, is that going to show up on the video camera or is it going to be too bright? Oh, it's pretty shiny, but it's looking fine. Might have to back up a little ways. Alright, there's a good start. Now. All right, we got one strip down the seam. Here's the See what I'm doing here. And then all we had to do is cut it out our little spout. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's see if we can find the spout. Come here, spout. There we go. Now we're gonna try to form fit this. 
so we don't lose too much of our insulation. Nice. Dang. Tell me I doesn't look professional either. You know, we might get out of the dog business and get in the cooler cozy business. What do you think? It looks pretty nice. Can you see that there? Let me turn that around. Yeah, I like that 3M sign, so we'll just we'll stick that up there like that. Perfect. Not missing too much. Just being silly. All right, now let's get to the science part of all this. Okay, so have our cooler, cooler ready. Have our cooler koozie ready. Now what we normally do is we go over to Save a Lot and we get us a big, this is a 22 pound bag of ice. And to be scientific about it, watch, we're gonna drop it once to break it up, ah, pick it up and drop it a second time. All right, now, I had to try to do this quick so that these bags of ice oh, have the same amount of time in each cooler. Uh, Scout, what are you doing? Are you coming to help with the project? Uh, look, Eli, Scout's been in the trash bucket to bring us an extra piece. All right. Okay, show them about how much that is, Eli. So it comes right to about right there. Now these bags, 22 pounds is what they're supposed to weigh. I'm sure that's not 100% exact. Okay, all right, but here's our first one. This will be our control. Now here's our second bag of ice. It appears to be about the same size. So we're gonna drop it once. Now if you're wondering why I'm dropping it, I'm breaking it up so that like all the ice is broke up the same amount. Twice. Okay, now this will be our test cooler. All right, so show them, Eli, looks about the same, about the same size. Okay, so we're gonna compare these two igloo coolers. Let's get it situated, Eli, so the spout's where it needs to be. Okay, so there's that spout. Move this stuff out of the way. And then, just because we're real sciencey around here, we will go ahead and compare the naked igloo cooler to the covered igloo cooler to our tried and trusty Rubbermaid cooler that we've had for years. It's a 22 pound, 22 pound bag of ice. Drop it once. Oh, and twice, and let's fill it up. All right. Dang, we're getting getting fancy around here. Hey, we get us a grant for studying ther the thermodynamics of uh, plastic coolers. Uh, it is exactly 101 on what is today, Eli? Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday sometime in June. I'm not sure about the date. Uh, but what we will do is we will check this at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow, and we'll see if there's any difference. What do you, what's your best guess, Eli? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Rubbermaid. You go with Rubbermaid? Oh, yeah. You think the Rubbermaid is going to hold ice even better than the Igloo with the cover on it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with 
Do you think there's going to be much difference between the cover and the non-covered version? Probably not. You don't think so? Maybe. Listen, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. All right. Hey, guys, if you want to, just pause this video right now and go down below and uh, make a, try not to read the other comments because that's because then you're going to know, right? But try to make a guesstimate as to how you think this is going to play out. All right, we'll be back with part two tomorrow at, nope, one o'clock. All right, so today is the third and final day of our test. And uh, now, I posted this on Instagram and I got a lot of interesting feedback as to how I could have done this experiment better. Uh, number one, by having the coolers close together, like uh, there's some kind of shade effects. Some people even brought up the fact that maybe the Reflectix is reflecting the heat off and onto these coolers. So I don't know. I think those are marginal differences, to be honest with you. But our next experiment, we'll do a little better, I promise. Uh, so yesterday, what we tracked was that this cooler seemed to be doing about 33% better. Now, we haven't had much in the way of direct sunlight. My own theory being that if we had direct sunlight, this would even be better. I'm thinking maybe 50%. Okay, but with not much in the way of direct sunlight, just a few sunny hours a day and uh, 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 relatively mild temperatures, this seems to be on track to be doing about 33% better. And so we're going to test it again today. All right, so still ice in this cooler here. So we're going to drain out. Yesterday we got nine cups of water out of each of these uncovered coolers. What do you think, Bosco? Bosco's a scientist. He's a science dog. We're starting to peter out. Almost at six. Alright, so there's six and it's starting to peter out already. Okay, let me grab our block. Now believe it or not, when Eli first started working here, I had to help him carry these blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even lie, dude. You know that's true. All right. So put our cooler up here. Make sure we can get all this water out. All right. Close enough. What do we got there? Dang, dude. Right at nine. So that's three. Let me see. One, two, three. Yep. So pretty much the same. So that's... That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that it would be that steady like that. What'd you think, Eli? Yeah. Still a lot of ice in there. A lot of ice. But like I said, it's not been very, it's not been very warm here, you know. And we'll try to speed up some of this stuff, cut it out. Because I know science can be boring. All right, there's six right there. Uh-oh, Eli. I think the Rubbermaid might be starting to, nope. Look at that, I'll be dang. Peter now. Same as the other day, nine. Dang, dang is right. What do you think the odds are of us getting six cups of water out of here only? If that's true, Eli, it's going to be an awesome, awesome example of science because we'll have got the same results two days in a row, which will prove that at least under these circumstances that a homemade do-it-yourself cooler uh, cover, right, is uh, makes your coolers 33% more effective. Hey, dude, nobody needs your help. Who do you think you are, Bill Nye? Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> now we have a nice teacher over there from Knoxville. <laughs> and uh, she's just dropping her dog off. And she's uh, sitting on that chair watching us do this science. <laughs> uh, hey, does this fit into Common Core? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're uncommon core. We're anti-common core, that's for sure, because it's not common core, it's communist core. And we hate communists. Commie core. Commie core, that's what it is. Dang, Eli, look at this. We're not even going to make it to six. This do-it, we're at three and a half right now. This do-it-yourself cooler cover 
it's going to turn out to be a big win, I believe. Oh. Get my block up here. Uh, here comes the sun. This is where I think this I think this is where the reflect X would really really shine is in direct sunlight like if you're on a ball field or something Peter out at six, Eli. Dang. Look at that. Just a hair over six. So that's the exact same. So that's the exact same ratio as yesterday. Yesterday we had, we got, let's go back, put everything back like it was so we can announce our results. Hey, listen, that didn't break. <laughs> that right there is the Lord's way of showing me that I've been leading a good life here lately. <laughs> All right, so guys, this is what we ended up with. This cover made out of just, it was free. It, well, it wasn't really free because I paid for it when I got my air conditioner installed, but like uh, it was gonna be trash and I saved it from the trash because I'm a prepper. This, I've had it forever and I still like this one the best because it has this screw top lid and it has these ridges. So I think that it's just probably gonna be a little bit more uh, like physically resilient than this. This cooler does a fine job. This cooler does a fine job. With a homemade do-it-yourself cooler, you immediately increase the efficiency of the cooler by what seems to be about a third or 33%, okay? So for all you people out there like me that uh, we live, try to live within our budget, and you're thinking about going and you know getting you a $300 cooler, maybe what you ought to do next time you go past a new development or a HVAC truck is just stop and say, hey guys, y'all have any of this uh, shiny stuff you're gonna throw away? Because if you're gonna throw it away, I would like to have it, right? So this in the, underneath here is a $21 cooler with a free Reflectix uh, do-it-yourself cover. And uh, Eli, can, 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 can we live with this right here? Oh yeah. I mean, considering that we've been living with this right here and not even putting any ice in it, right? This right here is a, a super good win for me. Now, I ain't got anything against $300 coolers, and if I ever win the lottery, I might, uh, well, no, I'm not getting one no matter what. But listen, if you have one, that's great. It's awesome. I'm not throwing them under the bus. I'm just saying, a little bit of ingenuity will uh, go ahead and make that $20 cooler, I would think, pretty close to what them $200 and $300 coolers are. All right, guys. So, uh... Get out there and uh, you know put up some videos, send them to me. I'll link to them, and we do this cover and see if that 33% uh, increase in efficiency holds uh, across the board under a wide variety of circumstances and environments. See y'all later.